Okay, now look at this. I will open an application from the home screen. Let's say clock. Now I will pull this edge panel. You see a bunch of applications here. I will tap on a particular app, let's say calculator. And this is the magic here. Now these two applications are open in split screen view. The one I opened from the home screen as well as the one I opened from the edge panel have gone into split screen view. That is a cool feature we have here on the edge panel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable this feature and I'll also share a couple of more tips or tricks for you guys. So keep watching and if you're new on the channel, be sure to subscribe and leave a like for this video if you find it useful. Now let's clear these applications. Let's open the edge panel again. I'll tap on this hamburger menu over here and I'll tap on edit. Here you can see we have got this app tray where you can edit, add or delete the applications for your edge panel. Now here all you need to do is just tap on this kebab menu on the top right corner. You see two options, open in split screen view either by touch and hold or by a tap. By default it is set to touch and hold. It says drag the application to the part of the screen where you want to open it. We are going to take a look at this next. But now I have selected tap and this is how I am able to open an app from the edge panel directly into a split screen view. We have tab selected here. Now I will demonstrate this to you again. Let's say I have opened Samsung Notes. Now I'll open the edge panel. Now let's say I want the calculator to be opened in split screen view so that I can calculate few things and take a note of it. I will just tap on calculator on the edge panel. Here it is. We have got calculator and Samsung Notes in split screen view. That's just amazing. Now before we move on to the next step, if you are interested in knowing about 10 essential free edge panel applications for your Samsung phones, I have made a separate video for that some time ago. I will leave a link for that video in the description and I'll also leave a thumbnail at the end of the video. That's a very useful video. You can go ahead and watch that after you finish watching this video. Now let's move on. Now what we will do is again, let's go to edge panel and tap on this hamburger menu, tap on edit. Now let's tap on this kebab menu again and select touch and hold option. This is the default option we have here, but you might not have used this drag and drop feature. So let me show you that. Again, let's go to home screen. I'll open Samsung notes. Let me pull out the edge panel. Now if I tap on calculator, these two apps will not open up in split screen view because we have selected the other settings. Now let's clear these apps. Again, let's open Samsung notes. Open the edge panel. Now I will press and hold on the calculator app and I will drag it over here. As you can see, I can drag this app to the top or to the bottom of the screen to open it in split screen view. This is also convenient because you will be able to open the application either on the upper half of the screen or on the lower half of the screen. Depending on your convenience, you can drag and drop it. That is just perfect. Now let's move to the next one. Let's clear these applications first. I will go to the edge panel again. Now I will press and hold on the calculator and drag it towards the home screen. As you can see, we also have an option to drop here for a pop-up view. Just in case if you want to open any applications in the pop-up view, you can directly do it from here. We will not be able to do this right from the home screen when you press and hold on an application. These are some useful features available on the Edge panel on Samsung's One UI. It is just incredible to see so many features on Samsung's One UI. The more you explore, the more features you get to know. And with every update, these features get enhanced or new features get added. That is just cool from Samsung. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Do not forget to watch that other video which I mentioned earlier. 10 essential free edge panel applications for Samsung phones. That is something you gotta watch. Go ahead and click the link in the description. But yeah, before you watch that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button for this video as well. Thanks all for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.